Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the lower oven inner door liner in your double oven gas range, be sure to unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply. You will need to pull the range away from the wall. Then lift up the front of the appliance and support it in the center. Now unthread the two lower screws, securing the door retaining brackets to the frame. Open the door and unthread the upper screws securing the brackets. Rotate the hinge locks back. Loosen the brackets and use tape to help secure them to the door. Now partially close the door, then lift and pull the door toward you to remove. After setting the door on a sturdy surface, remove the retaining brackets. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the three screws on the bottom, securing the inner and outer door assemblies. Next, unthread the two upper corner screws. With the screws unthreaded, you can lift off the inner door assembly. Set a towel under the inner assembly. Unthread the mounting screws securing the left and right door hinges and pull out the hinges. Now unthread the two screws securing the inner door liner to the retainer. With the screws unthreaded, lift off the old liner. Install the new inner door liner by aligning it on the retainer. Then thread the two screws to secure. Reposition both door hinges and secure them with the mounting screws. Join the inner and outer door assemblies together. Replace the two upper corner screws and the three screws on the bottom. With the edges facing outward, realign the two door retaining brackets past the notch in the hinge. Use tape to hold them in place. Reinstall the oven door by inserting the door hinges into the hinge slots at a 45 degree angle. Reposition the retaining brackets and rotate the hinge locks forward. Rethread the upper screws to secure the brackets. Close the door and thread the two lower screws to fully secure the retaining brackets.
Remove the support and lower the appliance. Plug the power cord back in or restore the power supply and the gas range should be ready for use.